Hello everyone, welcome again and today I'm going to show you a demonstration of another uh, JSP in Servlet project which is uh, online voting system. This project is already available over the code one, but we have made some changes and this is a version 2 of that application. So I'm going to run the application and I'm going to show you how things are working over there, how user can operate the application. So uh, first let's talk about the detail in, 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 in technology tools and technology that we are using into this application. So the very first we have a like JSP and servlet and like the basic technology is Java. Core technology is Java. Apart from that, we are using JSP servlet uh, for the that is used for the web application. After that, it's using JDBC to connect the database. And I can say JDBC data source. And uh, after that, it's using MySQL database. It's using Tomcat as a server, and uh, we're using Eclipse. To, as a code editor, it's using Maven as a project build tool, and uh, other thing is Maven and following MVC. So these are the tools and technology. The application will run over the browser, and let me show you how can you run that. And let's start from the scratch. So I just stop the server and everything, and uh, uh, this is my clips. And here in the under the project explorer, we have this application online voting system. To run the application, just right click on it, go to run as, run on server, select the server as a Tomcat and click on finish. Automatically, the application will launch at your browser, uh, default browser of your uh, that is integrated with your IDE. Next thing, uh, how you will get this set up with your machine. So if you are worried about it, you can check the link in the description box. You can buy the project from there. And after that, in case you face any issue, you can connect us over the WhatsApp or mail. So we will do the remote configuration. We'll connect with you through by uh, Zoom or any desk and we'll do the complete setup. And after that, you need to follow this demo in order to execute the application and understand the application. Okay, so here over the home page, we have two options, registration and login. So while I'm going to do, do the registration, there we have two options like the rules as a rule, voter and e-officer. Next thing, uh, we are using as a database, MySQL database and these are the table. This is a MySQL workbench interface and here we have a table as a, uh, like candidate, elections, parties, users, board and uh, board and board application. We'll see all the data of these applications one by these tables one by one and how can we operate it. So uh, I'm going to do one operations like how you can operate the application and the data when you operate the application from the front end the data will be updated here in these tables. Okay, And in these tables the data will be updated. So now uh, at the very first I'm going to register as a new user. Uh, which will be our admin user. So check the credential for the admin or any user. You can just go into the user table and you can check the credential over here. So here we have like you can see the roles here admin, e officer, and the border. Three types of users are there. First, I'm going to log in as an admin. So this will be username and the password. So I just entered username and I think password is stored in my browser already. So I just uh, logged in now and what operation, what, what options I have as an admin. So I can check the list of the users that can that is going to register from the front end. So as an admin, I can check the registration of e voter with more following field, the first name, last name, login ID, phone number, gender, DOV and role name. Also, if I want to delete any record, I can delete the records. And it will give me a successful message, data deleted successful and the is gone now. Another option I have to add political party so I can add a new party. So let's say I'm going to add new party or new ABC I can say and choose a logo. So let me look for any logo. So I'm not using a real time logo. You can add uh, like images over there and you can add a real time logo while you're creating. So let me check any logo over there. I need some small image to add over there. Let me find out somewhere. Okay, this is just, just I'm going to add this screenshot. Okay, I, I when I click on the save, data is saved successfully. Now, if I view the political party list, this party list will be displayed here to me. Here, I can see the new ABC party is displaying. Also, if I want to delete any party, I can delete it from here. This is delete it. 
and if I want to edit, I can edit the body from here as well. Let's suppose I want to update the uh, image, and it should not be really JP. Let me edit it. Edit JPG part. Okay. I just save it, and I'm going to when I review it again, I can use it. So here into the party list, the admin can manage, like admin can add a new party, admin can edit, delete the party with their logo and also admin have access to add the candidates over there. So I'm going to just add one dummy candidate over here. So I just fill first name, last name, email ID, password and the DOB. So make sure while you're entering the data into the DOB, there should be like a valid format in this format DDMMYY, four time Y and uh, and it should be more than like 18 year so 18 year old person the 10 digit mobile number gender and the select party in which party this member going to it so this candidate going to it so i'm going to select our abc party and click on the save candidates registered successfully now if i go to the candidate list what i can say the newly added candidate is available here also if i want to update this candidate i can update it from here and i can click on the update and I can update, let's say I want to update the phone number. Let's just save it. Let the candidate test the number is updated. If I want, I can delete the record by clicking on the delete button. Let's delete another record. So I just delete and let's data is deleted successfully. Now we have another option as I add election. So here I can add a new election. So let's say I, 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 I enter a new election. I just say new so i'm just adding a dummy data so you can take the meaningful data while you're working on it so let's say when this election is going to happen so i just going to enter it should be 10 08 2023 i just click on the save the election is added successfully when you go to the election list the new election is available here i can update delete those records as an admin i can check the result section here so under the result section uh, we can see the results uh, for the candidate name with the candidate name and the, the voter that we create that vote. So this is this will be our result window. So this is all about the admin side. Now let's log in, register as a new user, as a officer and a user, and then perform the operation. So I just registered as an e officer. So let's say e. So I just e office. I'm just adding a dummy data over here. So like I'm not adding our meaningful data. So just the, the office and let's make it at the red gmail.com. The password will be demo at the red one to three. And let's change the date in the correct format. So it should be 0874 is okay. Mobile number gender and i'm just selecting e officer from here so i just register as e officer and user is registered successfully now i go and enter the login section and i enter the same name i enter the password for the same user click on the sign in i can view the applications here so what officer going to do officer going to uh, approve the application that is coming from the booter and generate a booter ID. Okay, so these are the registered voter over there. So in another window, let's uh, let me create another instance of the application and we will run it as a voter now. So here we have account as a uh, e officer and here I am going to log in as a, a register as a new user. So I just say new voter and let's say new and voter at the register. password again demo at the rate 23 dov phone number gender and the role as a voter so i'm just going to copy this email when i hit the sign up button user register successfully when i go to the login i enter the voter email id and the password here demo at the rate 23 Click on the sign in. 
so as a new user what i need to do i need to upload my id proof here and while i'm applying for the voter application form so i just select this i added some dummy image you can add a real time data data is saved successfully now if i check my voter list it's showing like this and the voter id is nothing so what i can do now also my voter id is not generated now if i'm trying to view the list and view the elections and the new election is available here when i click on the view election trying to vote on it it will give me a vote uh, voter id is not exit or something some 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 validation error but i have already requested as a voter for the application now i just go here into my officer section i just refresh it and now this officer get a new application form so i can click on the generate voter id so this is generated the id is generated voter id is generated by this officer now if i move to this uh, user part voter part and i refresh the page this id will be displayed in here so as a voter i can go here now to the election view candidate vote it and i just enter my unique uh, voter id click on the save thanks for wait for your candidate if i'm trying to do another vote for the same id it will say the voter id is already exists if i'm going to enter some random data it will display me voter the id is not exist if i want to view the results for this election i can view the results <coughs> click on the logout okay user and everything uh, like user and all the users can view the elections all the data that we are uh, performing into, into the front end will be updated into this database now come on to the point and if you need the source code you can connect us over the mail skype and whatsapp we will do the we'll share the complete source code and give you the complete code apart from that what architecture we are using here so it's following the mbc architecture so we have bean classes here under the bean classes after bean classes we have the controllers bean sublates for each and every module of the application we have a separate sublate we are handling the exceptions over there we are doing the models differentiation so all the database operations will be performed under the model section and if i go here and under the util we are managing the utility of the application under the src main we have a folder we have jsps and the image folder we are storing the designing images css both step is there form.xml to manage the dependencies of the application okay and that's it like uh, that's it about the demonstration so if you need the source code just feel free to connect and in case uh, you need understanding of the application also we'll we can explain you the end-to-end -end source code like how the things are working internally how the data is flowing one layer to another layer and how we are developing this application so you can connect with us so we'll give you brief training you can ask for the, 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 the details the support team will get back to you with complimented details thank you